Alrighty, let's do this. So here, I'm going to show you, well, hold on a second. Dicks. Here, <laughs> I'm going to show you this build I've got for Countess. Uh, this is the one I use in every match, mostly, except I got Countess Your Blessing, or Count This Bitch and Countess. Uh, this one is a little bit differently um, than this one. This one is more built tank-like than this one. This one does have the options for um, health if I decide I need to switch between um, damage and health depending on the match and who we're going up against. Um, I can cancel out of damage and to go to health. Um, this one is straight up health, so I get 100 health and then 150, 150, 150. Uh, just in case we haven't run into issues. But I also have uh, my first uh, upgrade that I get when I'm floating the game is the Stalker Siphon. Um, just for the jungling purposes for Countess. Um, what this does is it uh, just allows me to stay in the jungle longer, killing minions and. Uh, getting points up faster after I get uh, this whole thing loaded out um, with the two here and they just cost two points and then the three here with the 7.5 um, life steal um, after I use those uh, um, I go directly to either my adamant edge or whirling wand uh, Whirling Wands, why I do uh, those is because they do damage upgrades plus attack speed. Attack speed with Countess with lifesteal and damage is just completely nuts. Um, I mean, it's just destructive. Because if you can sit there and hit um, an enemy player with the attack speed, lifesteal, and damage, you will take them out quicker than they can take you out usually most of the time not all the time you won't always do that um, but most of the time it really comes in handy with all those different factors into it um, I also put these in here just in case I need these uh, the vampiric elixir um, health token and the fiend elixir I also uh, start off my build with the warlord um, whenever the war prime is activated um, I get a 60 power um, plus a hundred percent damage bonus to the minions hundred percent damage uh, versus minions versus or min damage versus minions minions um, so if the minions are attacking each other mine will win over the other enemies um, so this one is what I use um, I don't for only a, one time you should use like a uh, health bonus or the health one is whenever you're using like um, Narbash, uh, uh, carry, um, or support, um, that's the only really time, actually not even with the carry, we just Narbash the support, um, so like Narbash and, uh, Muriel, but, uh, this is, uh, my build for Countess, um, I've got just a little bit of different stuff here, as you can see, um, kind of make it interchangeable, uh, for the most part, in case I need, uh, more health. Um, into this but uh that is my uh, countess build and um, um in my next uh, deck build video I'm gonna show you uh, Narbash um, I'm gonna make a few tweaks to this one but uh, I'm gonna do a Narbash uh, build um, and I'm also uploading a uh, Narbash um, game that or a game that I did with Narbash um, where we win and uh, it was a really good win, along with a really good win for the um, me with Countess. Um, both of them don't really have commentary. You'll hear me in the background every now and then. Um, but it's just really good gameplay, especially my last uh, Countess one, which will be uploaded with this uh, deck build. Um, kind of show you the full upgraded um, ability. Anyways, uh, this is Aaron I'm signing out. Um, be sure to like us, um, share it, um, and also to follow um, us on the Adelphos. Um, again, this is Aaron, and we'll talk to you later.